يعطيكم العافية charging and discharging of a capacitor هذا السؤال دورة يمكن 2013 استثنائية uh, عم بيقلي the aim of this exercise is to determine by two different methods the value of the capacitance of a capacitor for this aim we set up the circuit of figure 1 uh, this circuit is formed of an ideal generator delivering a constant voltage E a capacitor of capacitance C two identical resistors of resistances R1 equals R2 equal 10 kilo ohms and a double switch Hello, our part charging the capacitor the switch K is in position 0 and the capacitor is neutral at the instant T equal to 0 we turn K to position 1 and the charging process starts هلا مثل ما شايفين هون يقال لي at the instant t the capacitor is neutral شو يعني the capacitor is neutral يعني at the beginning of the charging process uc equals to zero هلا مثل ما شايفين هون in order to charge c we place k at position 1 فصار عنا هون rc circuit resistive capacitive circuit under a constant voltage first part Applying the law of addition of voltages and taking and taking the positive direction along the circuit as that of the current show that the differential equation that is that describes the motion of UC is E equal R1 C D U C by DT. Hala Dri Awal may illi derive or establish or find the differential equation, we must apply the law of addition of voltages. In this circuit, a law of addition of voltages in series connection, Yani U G equals u of r1 plus u of r2 هاي the circuit هلا اول step we know that ug بحط بدالة e اللي هي ال e constant و ur1 by applying ohm's law ur1 equals to r1i وال uc بتضل uc هلا بعد بعنا step we need to get rid of i we know that i equals to dq by dt and dq equals cdc uc Therefore, I will be C times D U C by D T. فصار عندي E equal R one C D U C by D T plus U C. هاي the differential equation لطلبة. وهاي the أكيد is a first order differential equation. It's a relation between a function which is U C and its first derivative D U C by D T. Part two. The solution of the differential equation has a form U C equals to A. Multiplied by 1 minus exponential minus t over tau 1 Where a and tau 1 are constants Show that a equals to e and tau 1 equals to r1c هلا مثل ما شايفين معي هيدي differential equation عطاني uc فواضح هيدي ال uc بدي حطها بدل هيدي ال uc بيبقى شو بدي طلع d uc by dt لحطها بدلها هون فأول step we expand uc uc equals to a into 1 minus exponential minus t over tau 1 given uh, therefore it will be a minus a exponential minus t over tau 1 Hala, we need to derive uc with respect to time duc by dt Ilna, it represents the derivative of uc with respect to time a is constant, its derivative 0. A is constant, its derivative 0. Hala, but the amal derivative lahai that term li huwi minus A exponential minus T over tau. L minus A is a constant, but dalla minus A la multiplied by a function. Yani, but the amal derivative lal exponential minus T over tau 1. Give bamal derivative lal exponential function. أول شيء بكتب الفنكشن هي زيتا e minus t over tau 1 بعد بدي أعمل step واحدة بدي أضرب هيدا الفنكشن بالderivative للexponent يعني بالderivative لل minus t over tau we know that the derivative of t is 1 therefore the derivative of minus t over tau 1 is minus 1 over tau 1 ف minus و minus بيروحوا بيبقى a over tau 1 E minus T over tau 1 هلا صار معي UC ومعي DUC We plug them in this differential equation Therefore Replace UC and DUC in the differential equation بصير عندي E equals R1C 
ضرب الـ دي سي باي دي تي يعني ار 1 سي ضرب اي اوفر تاو 1 اي ماينس تي اوفر تاو 1 بلس يو سي يعني بلس اي ماينس اي ماينس تي على تاو هلا بهيدا الترم وبهيدا الترم باخد كومون اكسبوننشال اي ماينس تي اوفر تاو 1 من اول ترم بيبقى ار سي 1 اوفر تاو 1 ومن ثاني ترم بيبقى 1 وفي هيدي الاي بتقعد على جنب لحالها هلا باي ايدنتيفيكيشن وي جيت اي ايكوالز تو اي اند ذيس ترم That's multiplied by the exponential uh, term equals to zero. Therefore, tau one will be r one c. Hala, therefore, لأنه هو قال لي a into one minus exponential minus t over tau. طلعنا e equals to a equals to e. Tau one equal r one c. Therefore, u c will be e into one minus e minus t over tau one c. Part three. Show that at the end of the charging u c e, we know that. The charging process of a capacitor ends. Our first method, بكتب at t tends to infinity. هلا إذا حطينا بدل t tends to infinity بصير عنده exponential minus infinity which is zero. Therefore, u c will be e. Or the charging process ends at t equal five to one. Therefore, five r one c. فإذا بحط بدل t five r one c بتصير exponential minus five. بصير تقريبا 0.99e which is almost e هلا شو رجع قال لي show that the expression of uab ural resistor هي e into e minus t minus t over r1c هلا كمان we can find ur by one of these two methods the first method هي by applying ohm's law ur1 equal r1i and we know that i equals to c d u c by d t therefore u resistor will be r c d u c by d t will d u c by d t نحنا كنا مطلعينا كنا مطلعينا a over tau 1 e minus t over tau 1 بصير عندي r1 c هلا we know that tau 1 هي r1 c فبيروحوا هوت terms will e equal to a بتصير e into e minus t over r1 c Or we apply the law of addition of voltages. U resistor here E minus U C. يعني E minus will U C here E minus E minus T over R C. بتروح ال E مع ال E بيبقى E into E minus T over R C. R C R one C. هلا the part اللي بعده establish the expression of the natural logarithm of U R one as a function of time. يعني هاي the U R one اللي هي E E minus T over R one C بدي أعمل له لين. هلا لن لا يو ار 1 بتساوي لن لا اي اكسبوننشال ماينس تي على ار 1 سي اول بروبرتي بستعمل انه لن اي تايمز بي هي لن اي بلس لن بي يعني لن اي مضروب باكسبوننشال اي ماينس تي على ار سي هي لن اي بلس لن اكسبوننشال ماينس تي على ار ار 1 سي هيدي لن اي بتبقى لن اي اند وي نو ذات لن اي باور اي از اي ذيرفور لن اي باور ماينس تي على ار 1 سي از T minus T over R1C. هلا graphical study. The variation of ln U R1 as a function of time is represented by figure two. I'll justify that the shape of the obtained graph agrees with the expression of U R1. U R1. هلا مثل ما شايفين هون. The shape of this graph is a decreasing straight line with a negative slope. هلا in the plane X O Y. In the plane x or y, the general equation of a straight line is y equal a x plus b. هلا هوني بدل ال x axis عنا time axis وبدل ال y axis عنا لين u r one. يعني إذا بطبق هوني this equation of this straight line مثل y equal a x plus b بس بتصير لين u r one equal a t plus b. ليش بتشبه هاي؟ لأنه لين u r one بتساوي a t plus b by comparison we get len e equal b and the slope هي كل شي مضروب بالتي هي minus 1 على rc يعني the shape of the graph of len u r versus t is a decreasing straight line of a general equation len u r1 equals to a t plus b where a is equal to the slope which is minus 1 على r1c and b equal len e رجا شو قال did use using the graph the capacitance c هلا We know that the slope is equal to minus one over R one C. R one is given, and using this graph, we can find the slope. يعني بيبقى ال C. هلا كيف بطلع السلوب؟ بيأخذ هاي النقطة اللي هي zero two point three zero. 
2.3 وهي النقطة اللي هي 23 ملي سكند زيرو كيف بطلع السلوب؟ زيرو ماينس 2.3 over 23 أكيد we convert it to second times 10 power minus 3 minus zero بيطلع معي السلوب برجع بقول a equal minus 1 على r c في لأنه نبوش بعض بدلون يعني c equal minus 1 على r 1 a تطلع على الكاباسيتنس هلا discharging of a capacitor the capacitor هوني at the end of the charging process the voltage across the capacitor is e the capacitor uh, is fully charged and this circle and uh, uh, this circuit will not be traversed by a current يعني at the end of the charging process the current will be zero هلا we flip k to position 2 we get this uh, RC discharging circuit يعني this capacitor will discharge through R1 and R2 in this circuit this capacitor will act as a generator شو قال لي بأول بارت the capacitor being fully charged we turn the switch k to position 2 at the instant t equal to 0 taken as a new origin of time the discharging of the capacitor starts قال لي during discharging process the current circulates from B to A مثل ما منعرف this plate is positive therefore the upper plate of the capacitor will be positive and therefore the current will leave the positive plate of the capacitor during its discharging process فقالي because the armature or the plate B of the capacitor is charged positively هلا هوني شو بدي اعمل بدي طلع differential equation in case of charging in uh, discharging often in case of charging we we said that E equal UC plus UR1 هلا بال discharging uh, the capacitor acts as a generator we apply the law of uniqueness UC equals to UR1 plus UR2 كمان by applying Ohm's law UR1 equal R1I plus R2I therefore UC equal R1 plus I2 هلا الفرق الوحيد هون in charging I equal D, DQ by DT equal CDUC by DT in case of discharging I equals to minus DQ by DT since Q during discharging decreases يعني its derivative DQ by dt will be positive and the current circulates in the positive sense عفوان دي هون dq by dt negative and the current circulates in the positive sense يعني it should be positive therefore i will be minus dq by dt minus c duc by dt فبتطلع differential equation مثل ما قلتلكم the differential equation in case of discharging هي زيتا charging بس هوني ما في e في zero هلا مثل العادي كمان اعطاني يو سي اي اي ماينس تي اوفر تاو 2 كمان بدي برهن له انه تاو 2 كمان يو سي ايكوالز تو اي انتو اكسبوننشال ماينس تي اوفر تاو 2 وي ديرايف يو سي وذ ريسبكت تو تايم الاي بتضلها اي والاكسبوننشال اي ماينس تي على تاو 2 بتضلها تي على تاو 2 بس بدي اضرب تحت بالديريفاتيف للاكسبوننت اللي هي ماينس 1 على تاو 2 بتصير ماينس اي اوفر تاو 2 اي ماينس تي على تاو 2 كمان مثل العادي we replace UC and DUC in the differential equation بدال ال UC بحط E E minus T على tau 2 وبدال ال DUC by DT بدال ال DUC by DT بحط minus E على tau 2 we take E exponential minus T على tau 2 common بيبقى من أول term 1 ومن تاني term minus R1 plus R2C therefore tau 2 will be R equivalent times C هلا the variation of UC across the capacitor and the tangent at equal to zero are represented in figure three. Ali determine the value of C. أول شيء we know that in case of charging at T equal to tau, UC attains sixty three percent of its maximum value E high during charging. During discharging at T equal to tau, the capacitor شو discharges 63% of its initial value therefore the remaining is 0.37e فهلا to determine tau في عنا two methods simply الأول شي simple method هي tau هي intersection لتنجنت at t equal to zero to the graph and the time axis which is 0.02 seconds second method e equal 10 volts 
if we multiply 10 by 0 0.37 we get 3.7 volts اذا رحت على 3.7 ونزلت بتطلع معي 0.02 هلا we know that tau 2 equal r1 plus r2c يعني c tau 2 على r1 plus r2 r1 و r2 given اكيد ضربت ب تام باور 3 لحول لاوم من كيلو اوم والتاو given we find again the value of c يعطيكم العافيه